Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to more Test Drive Unlimited on the PlayStation 2. And in this video, we are finishing up, well, we are doing one of the two clubs that I still have yet to finish up. And we have the V12 Screamers Club and the Supercar Owners Club. I think I'm going to go with the V12 one first. Um, I don't know what all I can get that's new to me that's also a v12 still so i guess we'll see but uh yeah we are on our last two clubs of the entire game before every single one is 100 percent finished and now i get to figure out what v12 car i need i need to get i guess i could get the mercy lego coupe that's a v12 right yeah the the mercy lego is v12 and the gallardo is v10 yeah, we'll go with that. It should work. If it doesn't, I might cry, but all is normal if <laughs> in that situation. And I'll also have to pick out a car for the A-Class Club, but that's fine. And yeah, I forgot these aren't actually that expensive for being A-Class cars. 231k. They're actually the same price. Although one has a slightly higher top speed. No other differences, it seems. Even the weight is the same. Have a look at our stats here real quick for the coupe. Yup. Yeah, it is a V12. Okay. I don't know why I was doubting that, but sometimes I can be a little silly. Can't see the gauges at all. I guess they're unnecessary. I mean, to be fair, they really are, because there is no manual transmission in this game. So I guess you wouldn't need to see the tachometer, and the speedometer doesn't really matter that much either. Anyways, let's pick this thing up real quick. And I think I chose these wheels for the Roadster, so I'm going to choose these wheels for the coupe, because why not? Oh shit, you know what? I have to. I, I, I have to do the bright green. Like, it's calling my name. And also I have to do on the interior as well. As green as possible. Yes. That's how it works. And we will go ahead and use this for our second to last club, of course. No, seems to be a little runny today. Allergies? Question mark? Maybe. I don't know. All right, let's get the shit done. Well, one of the shits, not all of the shits yet. I did go through and discover all the clubs. I think this is the A-class one, yeah. So the V12 one, I think, is down here. Yeah, there it is. V12 Screamers Club. Uh, if you missed it, I did a bonus video previously before uploading this that goes over uh, basically just discovering all of what's left on the map besides some of the events because I'm going to discover those anyways. Uh, we have everything that is a place to easily just teleport to, which is nice. But here are our opponents for this. Uh, we actually do have the DB9 and the Vanquish S at the very bottom there. I forgot about those. I could have bought the DB9 actually. You know what I have to do now. I don't have a DB9, so therefore, I have to buy one. Aston Martin dealership. All right, time to buy yet another car. And that will be, eh, I guess, a DB9 coupe. Volante is slightly slower on acceleration. Actually, almost half a second slower. The weight is the same, though, which is really funny because why is the, the acceleration worse if the weight isn't heavier? I don't know. But I guess we'll buy this. And I guess I will also upgrade this, because why not? All of our stats. We'll look at the car itself, too, of course. Oh my god, that is a very blue interior. I like it. I might have to keep that. Oh my god, it's so blue. I just like that the driver's seat does not exist in, like, any car in this game. Unless you look in from the outside. 
Yeah, it exists from the outside, but once you go on the inside, it just doesn't exist anymore. I guess there were clipping issues or something. Alright, let's buy another car. We have 15 spoke diamond turned alloy wheels, or the standard DB9 wheels. I'll go with the 15 spokes, why not? And pick our interior. Um, I might go with. Oh, is there not a British Racing Green? I mean, this kind of looks like British Racing Green. I think this one's more British Racing Green. I actually go with the Cal. No, I think I, I painted my uh, the other car. This. You know what? I'm gonna go with red. Oh my god! I could pick any interior color. <laughs> I can have a reverse watermelon. Red on the outside, green on the inside. I don't think I actually want to do that. I do kind of like this one, actually. Ooh, wait. That has, like, lighter colored wood, interestingly enough. Um... Fuck it. Red with red. We're going with that. Red on red on red on red on red. Alright. Now, I'm going to upgrade this car. Because I have so many tokens, I might as well. V8 Vantage in here. Close, but not quite the same car as I have. Alright. Aston Martin... And that is quite the upgrade. 205 miles per hour in C-Class. 540 horsepower. Like, this is like the same stats as some of the A-Class cars have. After upgrading as well. So that's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, we'll go with this. Power Pack 3. Now, we will race in the club. Alright, so we have a varied set of cars here, all the way from C to A-Class. And I'll definitely use this car for the C-Class cars, and maybe, I don't know, maybe the Mira too. We'll see. But first off, we have the other DB9 Coupe, driven by Netzorg. I actually want to see the other cars that are usable in this. <gasps> There's not a whole lot that I don't have, actually. Actually, I think I have every car here except for the other DB9, the Volante. Yep, I sure do. I, well, actually, I don't have the F1 LM. But let's race against the other DB9 real quick and get going on this. I'm going to assume that nothing will happen once I beat all of the clubs. I don't think there's going to be anything programmed to the, into the game to happen once I have become the president of every club in the game. Just going to throw that out there here. I don't know for sure, but that's my uh, assumption. This game hasn't seemed to be uh, very, like, rewarding to 100% besides getting the 100%, basically. So, which is not a terrible thing. Like, it doesn't have to, per se. It does have a percentage counter, so. Number go up until 100, which is fine, but. Um, like in the 360 version, if you win all of the race events, then all of the speed events, then all the time events, the you will get a car for each of those for, uh, completing all of those. So, it's just a little something extra, I guess. Why did you switch lanes? You are going on to the... Dude, I'm going to lose my mind. That truck was actually going to try to hit me. Literally trying to go onto the shoulder to hit me. Actual bastard. Oh yeah, we have a, uh, oh god. Reverse tachometer, because DB9. Yippee. And I do have one more little bonus video, uh, cooking, or going to be cooked. Oh god damn it. After I do these two clubs, uh, this one and the final one. So be on the lookout for that. Similar to the uh, discovering all of the areas and things video. But not discovering. You'll see it when it gets here. 
And then all that leaves is the final events, I believe. And nothing else, I don't think. I guess we'll find out as we go. 150 Satan. I like that number. Six seconds ahead. And I may have screwed up the final turn. Well, the second to final turn. Pretty badly, so I'll take that. Alright, next up we have the other V12 Aston Martin. Well, technically the other one. The only one that's actually a different car. That's not just another DB9. Driven by Nikolai Kovic. The Vanquish S V12. Bring it on. My sinuses are really unhappy with me today. I don't know why. If I sound a little bit different, I apologize. Like I said, I don't know if it's allergies or what. I tend to get hit by allergies pretty bad, so it very well could be. Even though it's a weird time of the year to have allergies. You wouldn't really expect that in August as much as, like, March or May or something like that. Oh. But pay attention, it would be helpful. Hello, Nikolai. Hello, Nikolai. Aha! I have thwarted you. Oh, this is unfortunate. Bastard. No, you're not gonna do that. I mean, you can do whatever you're doing there. You're just not gonna be in ahead of me. I don't know what that wide turn was that you were trying to do. Uh, truck. You've been struck by truck. Big air time points. I'm still getting... Oh, Jesus. I mean, I guess I'm fine. <laughs> I landed on traffic. It's fine. Oh, the traffic is cutting each other off. Nice. I saw that. I feel like I was going to say something, and then I got distracted. Oh, jeez. Uh. I love being on the opposite side of the road. It's great. A Sports. NASCAR Thunder 2004. I don't know, that's the first thing I thought of whenever I <laughs> thought of EA Sports. Probably because that's, I think, the EA Sports game that I've played the most, honestly. Someday, I will still get myself actually like involved in a NASCAR game someday. What is the point of this little road to the left, by the way? Like, there's nothing over there. There's not a house or anything. Why is it over there? Why are there? Why is there traffic going down it? Where, where are you going? What do you plan to do? I assume because all these roads are based off of real-life roads, at least back in 2006 or so, or 2005 maybe even, um, when this game originally started development, that uh, there's probably like places where there would be houses, but they just didn't have like either the resources or the time to actually like model um, buildings 100% correctly. That's my assumption at least, because I feel like that would take a very long time and a lot of work to do. Uh, if you wanted to be really, really accurate with it. Especially, like, with houses and things. Ooh, excuse me. That's my assumption. I'm not a game developer, so I don't know everything. And I won by 14 seconds, and I went this far past the finish line? What the hell? Fine. Okay, up next, we have Olga Troynikov. 
in a Lamborghini Mira P400 SV. You know what? I like your style there, I think. You know what? Yeah, I do actually. That's not the right car. I want to use my Mira P400 SV, so I'm going to do that. We have two different colors. I'm glad I got a mirror that's like an interesting color too, not just gray. Mirrors had so many like crazy interesting colors that gray almost feels like an insult. Uh, old car moment. Eh. Damn it. Stay on the road, please. Yeah, I know where we are. I've been through here many times. Please, traffic, get out of the way. Well, you're not really even in the way. It's just me being stupid. Never mind, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm saying. I do still wonder what my uh, ending points will be for this game. Quite curious. We're up to 3.25 mil. I'm assuming maybe at least three and a half. Maybe. I don't know how much the uh, the final speed and time events will give me, but we'll see. Whenever we get there. Again, that will, I guess, be the final video of the game in general. So. Once I do that, that's it. That was, in fact, Test Drive Limited for the PlayStation 2, but we're not there yet. I don't know why I'm saying this. You gotta wait, like, three videos for that. Winrar! Nice 360. I like it. No, don't hit me! Damn, that was close. Yeah, these cars weren't worth anything back in 2006. It's fine. Another six seconds ahead. And I believe we are on a two hour A class opponents now. So it might be time to bring out the Murcielago Coupe against another Murcielago Coupe. Nice. Don't mind if I do. All right, Bethany Hawks in once, or as said, another Lamborghini Murcielago Coupe. Don't have the same color as me. Don't don't be bright green. Don't be bright green. Or do, honestly. That's kind of cool if you do. Yeah! Oh yeah, we both have actually really interesting colors. We got teal versus bright green. And neon green. With my gr neon green interior. Hell yeah. So good. Pretty short race this one, about two miles. Of course, the fa faster we go, the shorter the races need to be, obviously. Gotta make the short races shorter and the long races longer, don't you know? That's just how it works. Hmm, I don't know where I was planning to go there. God, this car accelerates so slow. Oh my god, it's so green. And low. Why is there so many big trucks? Please. No, come back. Uh oh, I might actually lose this. Um, we'll see. I can twist my way around right up here. Come on, go. Oh my god, I barely won. I should have won by, by more than that, but oh well. Exactly half a second ahead. Exactly. I like rounded numbers. Where did the other car go? Oh, I actually followed the turn. Nice, good job. Didn't run directly into tree like me. Apply tree directly to car. All right, next up, Kruger J in a Pagani Zonda C12S Coupe. Okay, there's another McLeod. What the hell? We'll deal with that when we get there. Ooh, strawberry. I'm green apple flavored, the Pagani is strawberry flavored. 
<laughs> That's how it works, don't you know? Pagani might be a little faster in a straight line than the Murcielago. And also is lighter. <laughs> This is a longer race, longer-ish. At least over three miles. I feel like this car does have pretty slow acceleration compared to like most other A-Class cars. Like I'm actually losing High, or losing distance to the uh, oh, oh. traffic had an accident to the uh, Pagani throughout the straight. My body is all sorts of just discombobulated today. Don't know why. That hiccup actually kind of hurt. What the hell? Oh my god, what is that truck doing? Airtime air points. I like it. May have missed the turn a little bit. It's fine. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. And another dub ski for me. Let me just go into this house that I definitely own here. Hello! Oh, pfft. Yeah, you just pushed me more into the driveway, funny enough. Another six seconds ahead. As expected. Time to take on number one. Who is Ethan McLeod? I believe that's how you would say that. This is our third McLeod of the game, which has two different spellings. Some of them have M-A-C, and then... Well, one of them had M-A-C, L-A-O-D, and two of them have had MCLEOD like this. It's interesting that there's so many of them. Maybe it's a common last name in Australia or something. I don't know. Uh, but he's in a McLaren F1. Let's go. All right. Black McLaren versus bright green Marcelo. Oh, yay. Yeah. McLaren will definitely have me in a straight line. I'll try to uh, do this, but it's not going to help very much. I've already left the substream, unfortunate. It's fine. Goodbye. Oh. At the next intersection, turn left. A goofy ass turn path. Left. What the hell is this crap? Turn left. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Gas station. One of like the four gas stations that exists on this map. I actually don't know how many there are overall. I should look that up at some point or try and figure it out, I guess. I know there's at least, like, three. Also, a very short race at here at the end. Well, fairly short. And I win. And I get another free vehicle upgrade. Yippee. Add it to the, the pile. Three seconds ahead of Ethan. And there we go. And that leaves one more club left to do in the entire game, which we will take care of in the next video. Oh, big stretch time. Oh yeah, okay. Music worked perfectly that time. You only get to hear that one more time. Well, technically, unless I just go into a club after I finish the final one. 
But yeah, there we go. I can race against anybody, as per usual. But I won't. Let's, uh, I guess we'll just head back to the house, look at our newly acquired cars, and call it good after that. This is new house, right? Yes, it is. I like that this house is a lot of A-class cars and a DB9. <laughs> the DB9 is the only odd one out, being a C-class car. All right. Up our news. Uh, V12 Screamers, I can delete that. And congratulations, your next vehicle upgrade is free from the V12 Screamers. One left. One whole club. Oh shit, 89%. Maybe, maybe the uh, exploration did actually do something then, because I wasn't expecting it hit 89% already. Didn't I just hit 88% in the previous club? I think I did. I don't know. I, I, and usually it takes like three to four clubs to, get, to gain 1%. Interesting. So maybe that did help. Hopefully that doesn't mean anything silly like I have to own all the cars in the game or something to hit the 100% mark. That'd be pretty silly. We'll see though, I guess, and if I have to do something about that, I guess I will, um, but there we go. Look at, oops, not at our stats, I want to look at this. Here's our fancy garage of this house. I think, I wonder, I guess this might be the most expensive house, I don't know, it's just a 10 car garage for sure. I think, actually no, it might be a, is it a 6 or an 8 car garage? Oh well, no, the Pagani in the back is really far back. I don't know. But that will conclude this video. Thank you all so very much for watching. And I guess I'll see you in the next one where we finish up the final club of the game.